you know, y'all, I've had some terrible fears in my life. You know, I'm afraid of drowning. I'm afraid of dying. I'm afraid of a lot of things. But one thing I was always afraid of was being the son of an ex-porn star. Of course, I'm talking about the female ones because, bro, <laughs> when I tell you if I was ever the son of an ex-porn star, I would kill myself in the womb. There would be no need for abortion, OG, because I'm going to take my umbilical cord, wrap it around my neck, and kill my own self. I would rather a girl I'm into screenshot me shooting my shot and sending it to her group chat and putting it on her story than rather be the son of Lana Rose or any female porn star at that. Recently, these ex-female porn stars been going through it, folks. Oh, my bad. Corn stars. Don't want to don't have you two take this fucking video down. These ex-corn stars have been going through for, you know, Mia Khalifa, the throat goat. Her husband broke up with her. Riley Reed got married and got clowned all over the fucking internet. And Lana Rose had a baby. And speaking of her son, hey, look, bro, whenever you see this video, just know I always got your back. And the reason I got your back is because your OG didn't get me through some tough time. Nah, let me stop. But for today's video, we're going to be talking about the repercussions of being an ex-corn star. Without further ado, let's get into it. First off, let's start with Mia Khalifa. Now, after Mia Khalifa became an ex-corn star, she started going around social media saying that she was going broke, that a certain company that starts with bang and ends with bows was a paying her the money that she deserved and worked hard for. And also, of course, she was trying to keep her name relevant. She quickly went to social media trying to put on this whole little front like, oh, I had, these niggas had me sucking dick in all these places and shit, and they ain't pay me the right amount of money this year, they'll give me blah, 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 blah. But eventually, it got so big to the point where Bang Bulls themselves came along and showed the contract and all the evidence that she did get paid all this fucking money that she was owed, and that this entire thing was a fucking lie. And she went to social media again complaining about how she couldn't get another job because she was an ex-corn star. And when I first heard about this, I was like, bitch, what the fuck do you expect? When the new manager of your local Dokin Donuts can pull up a video of you getting your ass clapped by four different men all at the same time, do you really think he's gonna fucking hire you? And on top of that, that's bad for business. Wait, actually, that could be good for business, but then again, it could be bad for business. Like, what if somebody walk in and recognize you at the register, which is most likely gonna fucking happen your first day on the job? Like, do you really think that the nigga that's trying to buy a donut is gonna annoy the fact that they didn't see your entire asshole get out down by Tyrone down the block? No, he's not gonna annoy that. You should already know how social media is. People will find that shit out hella quick. People will literally show up to that duck and donuts just to see if you're there. They don't give a fuck if they gotta fly across the country just to see you. They'll do it. That's only the tip of the iceberg. You don't know what the weird motherfuckers will try to do if they ever seen you a person. You trying to live a normal life and having a normal job after you did the things you did is going to be fucking impossible. See, you should have thought about this day one. You knew for day one, whenever you were tired or whenever you quit doing this, that the backlash from it, not even the backlash, just the effect it would have on your life. You should have already knew that all this was coming. You should have knew that you wouldn't be able to keep a man who would love you. You should have knew that you wouldn't be able to keep a regular job. You should have knew if somebody recognized you in public that they were going to say something to you or at least record you to show like, oh yeah, y'all, I seen Mia Khalifa in public. You should have known. You should have thought about this before you signed any of those contracts. You should have sat down and thought to yourself, hmm, before I take that dick, should I take this chance? Can I take the impact it's going to have on my life? Can I take the fact that this will be the only way I'll be able to ever make money again? The fact that your man will never trust you and that you'll never be able to find love because of your past? Did you think about any of these things before you signed that paper? And no, actually, let me answer that question for you. No, you didn't. You fucking didn't. So don't ever come up on social media complaining about oh i can't do this i can't do that the main reason you can't do any of those things is because of yourself nobody's here to blame here for your own problems but fucking you let me get off me and khalifa head now let's get on to lana woes i don't know what made this bitch think that she could bring up a baby as an s corn star in this generation do you know what type of people niggas in this generation make they make niggas like me and if you've seen my videos and you've seen the shit i say far you know i have absolutely no filter so if a nigga like Lana Rose's son coming to my school, I'ma whip his ass a new one, especially if you say some slick shit to me. I'm not that type of person for real. You know, this is just for the internet, you know, entertainment and shit. There are people in real life who act just like me in my videos. They will whip, they will make him want to fucking kill himself. That nigga gotta be built like John Cena by the time he get in middle school, bro. Like, there's no saving that little boy from getting fired at the lunch table. There was nothing that nigga can say that can combat the fact that a nigga that's trying to bully him pulled up a video of his mama getting her ass 
ass clapped on Pornhub.com. Imagine one of his teachers pull him inside and tell him, hey, you know, Mr. Woes, I used to be a big fan of your mama growing up. That's gonna fucking traumatize him. He's not gonna be able to recover from any of that. So you most likely are going to homeschool this little ass fucking boy because you already know your damn self. You up here putting on this phone like, oh yeah, kids not go worry about it. Kids not go pay no mind. You do not know the niggas of this generation or the generation before us. Shit. You don't know about any generation at all because any generation of people will clown and make fun of that nigga if he ever s- and slick to them. And she had the nerve to go on her podcast and say this. In 10 minutes, but he wouldn't come out. So I got cut. They put a vacuum on his head. They sucked him out. <laughs> that wasn't the only time something was getting sucked near you, Hanlon. But anyways, as you can see from the video, she said that the baby wasn't coming out and that she had to get a C-section. And of course, when this video got the people with TikTok got their hands on this video, oh boy, did they whip her ass a new one. Even if nobody said anything, we all know that, that baby did not have a problem sliding out that damn pussy. That baby was having a six flags. Nigga, that baby was on the Joker. Like, he was having the time of his life going all up in and out. Out your flying through your coochie, my nigga. Like your coochie is really a water park without the water. It's just slash. The little nigga was at a playground. That little boy MOB 22 slid out your pussy. Yeah, the Call of Duty slide out your coochie. Anything a little boy probably came out too fast. He probably came out too fast to the point where he slid out of the. He basically hopped into the doctor's arms. I'm surprised it's your birthday type shit. But yeah, this is basically all the repercussions trying to live a normal life being an ex corn star. You would never be able to get a normal job never be able to find love and even if you do that person to end up leaving you because of your past you will be recognized in public and end up being embarrassed because of the shit that person's gonna say people around you your friends your family they will never ever look at you the fucking same especially your father he will be crying in his grave most definitely but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment subscribe if you're new turn on the notification bell to get notified when a nigga upload and yeah if she don't got more ass than bubble bath she ain't the one to grab have a nice day at least attempt to, I'm out, peace. Don't try to cross me. I don't fuck with you niggas, it's just me, I'm not a Nazi. I don't fuck with nobody but myself, I don't need nobody. She gon' snatch my soul, but I can keep my body. Shawty got a nigga, so I can't tell nobody.